Hi, this is El Cerrito Middle School. And you are watching CNUSD TV. one of the most famous cello players in the world. He worked hours and hours of practice perfecting his craft and making his music sound as beautiful as it does today. His first performance was when he was four and a half and already everybody knew he was going to be an amazing person. I actually did a research paper about him so I know how he struggled a lot on his path to greatness, really. He's one of my idols. He he is like the greatest cellist ever. He was like one of the reasons I started playing and I was surprised when I heard that he was coming to our school at all. I was Yo-Yo Ma's ambassador so I got to walk around with him. So I'm a cellist like him and we both overcome like hardships. And so when I heard that I was going to be his ambassador, I was going to get to walk around with him and talk to him. It was just insane. I thought it was it was like a dream come true. It was awesome. And it was such an honor to sit next to him. I was so happy. I was like, no way. No, he, he he's gonna sit next to me? I was just super surprised. I was so excited. I, I couldn't believe it. It's just super amazing that I got to play with Yo-Yo Ma. There's something really amazing about being next to someone who is that good and who you look up to and they're right next to you, in the flesh, it's all very unreal, and yet there it is, it's real. Best day of my life. We found the MakerBot lab for uh, about a year, which included about 10 printers. And we go from making a simple house that has four walls with a hole in it and a roof, or something as complex as a gear that uh, a student has created to take the place of a part that broke on a robot. What the MakerBot does is it's a program that converts the digital object that you created into a moldable structure that the plastic can uh, form and it will automatically create supports taking into consideration what the machine needs in order to print your, the object you're looking to print. I have printed maybe 20 things total. I completely love the software. It's quick and easy and it's I enjoy seeing what I create in a physical form. So using MakerBot, we collaborated with Peter. We didn't just use it for the head, there was also a frog, some of the amulets. There were props in the play. In the play, when they cut off his head, people gasped and thought it was real. It took 48 hours for it to print on one of those printers. Actually, the one behind me, we used that one. We didn't actually model it, we had the computer do it for us. We had a scanner called Sense, and we used that to scan a 3D model of his head. And then we saved that to an OBJ file to send to the printer to print. If I see a kid is interested in something, I will tell him to make it in a program like 3ds Max or Maya or Tinkercad for that matter. He can see or she can see from start to finish that design process and that workflow. I'm working on a 3D model of the school and the front office. It's going to be part of an app we're working on. I played around with it as a hobby starting a year ago. This is the first year I get to work in class with the 3 models and programs like Maya and 3ds Max that really let me uh, model to my best ability. I was working in Autodesk Maya, which is a 3D modeling and animation program. You can sculpt in 3D objects that can be placed in video games or in movies. Last year I actually got a, became a certified user in Autodesk Maya. It's a very wonderful experience. I'm really thankful we have these programs at the school because uh, I know it is, you know, a growing industry. It's fun and it's enjoyable. I know not every student, not every school gets to uh, enjoy these classes, so I'm just real happy I get to be a part of this. Computer science to me is a culture of creation. I mean, you can take a clean slate and actually turn it into whatever you want it to be. I like to empower kids like that and tell them, make whatever you want. 